Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on Beginner's Guide to Database using MS SQL Server 2014. In the previous episode, I have showed you how to add, remove and modify column in an existing table. In this episode, I will show you how to insert data in an existing table using query in MS SQL Server 2014. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial. Okay guys, uh, first of all let's start our MS SQL Server 2014. I have pinned my MS SQL Server Management Studio on my toolbar, so I'll just click on its icon. Then we need to connect our database uh, in local server, so I'll just select local and click on connect. Then our database will be connected. So I have a sample database in my system here it is and inside the sample database i have a table called tbl user so i'll be inserting data in this table if you do not have your table or database created then uh, you should create one database and a table inside that database if you don't know how to create a table or database in ms sql server 2014 then i'll recommend you to watch my episode uh, on how to create database and table in MS SQL Server 2014 so guys let's start my query window to insert data so first of all I will use a query to select database that is use then database name then it will if it's not selected if our database is not selected in here then we should run this query for this I will first select master database then I will just run this query it will select our sample database so I, I just selected the use sample database query then I will execute it so it has selected sample database successfully so let's see the structure of my table user so I will just run the select query that is select asterisk from tbl underscore user just select the query and execute it so it has successfully executed the select query and these are my columns in my tbl user table that are user id full name address gender and email and now we will write the query to insert the data in tbl user table so the query is insert into tbl underscore user then we will need to write column name that are user underscore id full underscore name then gender then email and guardian then we will need to insert the values for the columns respectively so first user id user id is integer so we do not need to use any quotes i will give user id as one then full name is is a barker so we will use quote to insert the data in full name so full name will be bj and thapa then address is then address is Kathmandu then gender is male or female so one will be male and zero will be female so one is male email is abc at the rate xyz dot com then guardian will be anyone So guys, uh, the red uh, red letters on code are Barker data type, and the one and this one are integer data type. So we do not need to use any codes in our integer or decimal or float data type. We need to use codes on Barker data type like text, Barker, etc. So I'll just select this query and run it. So execute it. I think there's a problem. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have one extra column. 
full name this is not here only one is I inserted an address here but there was no address I think I should check my table first I have address here so control Z so it's address. I forgot to mention address here so that was the error I will add address and this this will solve our problem so I'll execute it one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five six I still have one list column so I'll just execute it user ID full name address and I do not have gender gender so so guys this is the query to insert data I'll just select the query and execute it so one was affected so we have successfully added the data in our table so let's select the table execute and execute it so we have successfully added here one user ID VJ name and Kathmandu address gender one email address abc at the right x widget okay guys that's it uh, this is the query to insert data in our database so this is it for today in this episode i have showed you how to insert data in our existing table in the next tutorial episode i will show you how to update data in a table using query in ms sql server 2040 so see you soon bye bye